disclaimer. Before this video starts, we want to let you know that some of the topics discussed in this video might be offensive, but everything we say is a joke and should not be taken seriously. But if you are easily offended, click off this video now. Also, don't forget to thumbs up the video and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. Guys, I want you to put in the comments right now, if Kami and Millie were dead to have a shower together, do you think they would get it on, yes or no? Yeah, yes. If they were just dead and they had to go in there for like five minutes, do you think they would do stuff? Like, like this flag for yes, dislike for no. Like if you think for yes. Three, two, one, action. Yo, what's going on, guys? The wave out. Oh my god, oh, yes. Minus Elmo. Um, and <laughs> what? And Katie. Oh, yeah, frick. Okay, so what's up, guys? We are actually live today from Paris. The time is low key, like half 11 at night, I'm not lying. And we have a bunch of food. Like, when I tell you a bunch, this isn't even all the bags. We have one more bag over here. I've got to show you for the effect. One hey. more bag. Careful. Um, oh, shit. oh my god. <laughs> if my McFlurry was in there, I would have literally smacked <laughs> you so hard. So basically, today we're doing a massive unpopular opinions mukbang with Maccas. We're in Paris, we're getting lit, and I genuinely can't wait to show you guys some of the unpopular opinions because these are all new unpopular opinions, and everyone at home can play with this as well because you can just talk to us. We can't really hear you, but treat it like a FaceTime call, you know? And yeah, don't forget to give the video a fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for new quality content like this. This is Eloise. You might know her from the milk bar. We all ended up putting our milk in there. Um, this is Jimbo. <laughs> he's the boyfriend of Eloise. Yeah. Um, he's the... Ex. The gay bestie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's Melly T. You might know her as my sister, my step sister, my girlfriend, my mom. Let's start. Here, have some of these. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Guys, I'm really sorry for anyone that has a mental phobia out there. He's literally taking the piss. I'm not taking the piss out you of You are, and so it's a mental health issue as well. Well, we got nugs. Um, and I got some barbecue sauce. But I'm gonna dip this Ooh. in. I'm gonna have one bite. <laughs> Good luck. I'm gonna have one bite of this, then we can start on the food. To start, we have a fish that? and a rice cake. That is not barbecue sauce. Right, what is that? Uh, big tasty sauce. Ew! What the frick? What's that? He's got big tasty sauce. That was vile. You know that burger? That's big what I'm tasty. eating. I mean, that tastes disgusting. <laughs> Kinda. Wait, That's Jimbo, horrible. should we not put our things in no, the freezer? No, it, please. Eat it, bitch. Oh, could you, could you put mine in the freezer? Well, you could eat it. No, oh, who's ready for the first unpopular opinion? Me, me, yeah, me, me. ready. Uh huh. They're good, so hold on to your seatbelts. This is a good one. I know Ellie's gonna love this one. When people marry, whoever's last name sounds cooler should be the one that's kept. Facts, tell them. I agree. I don't want to speak too much on the situation, but obviously, Fulad Garth or what you're picking. I think Eloise Hall has a ring to it more than James Fulad Garth. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just not doing that to my dad. I'm, I'm a family full of girls, so I'm not doing that. Cringe. Oh, so you're calling my dad cringe? No. I hope Mansu's watching this. What do you think, Millie? Okay. Oh, it's awkward. I think marriage in general is a scam. Hmm? No, not really a scam, but just like, it's a lot. Like, I feel like sometimes it's just not necessary to do that much. Like, signing a contract and like all the law shit that comes into it and all the financial side to it. I get it. I do want the cute proposal and the cute marriage, but like, it's I just, just want it for attention. In that statement, I completely agree with. I think if someone's mm -hmm. like forcing it that much, they think you should keep the last name of the man just to like follow law. Boring. Actually, to be fair, I'm only agreeing because my name would always, my surname would always be the best. So whoever, whoever ends up marrying me, you're lucky. Salito, stiletto. No, Salito, dumb bitch. Oh my god, stiletto. Tail forth. Mm -hmm. Salami. Like that sounds like something a furry would be called. I'm not a furry. Yeah. Actually, my best friend. So actually, I'm not yeah, right. And don't look at Louise. Yeah, don't look at me for you when you're really bitching about me. It's actually yeah. really fucking rude and disrespectful. It's nasty. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. That's why I just ignored. And Elle, I always have your back. Yeah, I always just have say. Yours. What yeah. about ten minutes ago when she wasn't even up the stairs yet, and you were saying? Bitch, shut up because you know I gotta live by myself, so try me. Oh, I will hold. Okay, next. Anyway, I don't know about this one. Nose rings and piercings are very unattractive. That is so rude. You can't just These aren't that. mine. These aren't mine. I've it definitely is your, like, I promise. in a, in a long time. I promise I didn't write these down. I mean, I wrote these down, but I found them online and stuff. And they um, were No, that's not true at all. No, I'm scared to speak on the piercing community because I've already come for me once because mm. I got my whole face pierced and then took them out the same day and apparently that was offensive. That was one of your most iconic videos. If you don't know, Millie basically got like eight tattoos in one day. and Piercing. One, she yeah. had like uh, one up here and I took it out and oh. it should bled everywhere. It was like a Billie Eilish music so video funny. though. The blood just start coming down like this, like tears. Can, we, um, can you say sorry to Jimbo because she's getting really quiet? No, she's happy as normally. My fucker's happy to be here, huh? If you're upset about the sign thing growing up with my dad. What's the question? Do you think nose rings and piercings are unattractive? Uh, I think it depends on your type and things like that, I guess. Jimbo's so like, personally, I'm not in so I hate yes. them, but... What did she just say? <laughs> 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 
Oh yeah, also we're all hella ill. Um, no, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> no, we are not. Yeah, no, we're not. Anyway, next. But he's coughing on us, but so in he, my we are. Right. Anyway, next. My illness is over now. No, I'm... he might give it back to you again. Nah, I stay being the illest. Because they keep kissing. I'm the illest. So they keep making each other ill. Anyway. Oh, wait, I have to see if my guy DM me. Give me a sec. 20 minutes to get period pads. <gasps> Sorry. Oh, oh, you pig. Graveyards are such a waste of space. Mm. Oh, I I don't agree with that really. I, I I mean I think for some people like it's their place to go to grieve. So I think that it's not a waste of space in that respect. But do you I do they think can that... do it in a better in a better way without taking up so much space. I mean I I do get the point. <laughs> in Italy, sure. in Italy, when I used to go see my granddad, there's rooms of oh, like tombs. So hey, shut He's up. He's actually speaking about his granddad. <laughs> yeah, thank you. In Italy, when I used to go visit, visit my granddad's like. Uh, Coffin thing. Yeah. It's like they're like all engraved in the wall, and it's actually a way nicer environment. It's not a nice environment, but oh. it's nicer than being outside in the. They garden. had that in. Um, yeah, I've seen something like that. Like, exactly. Yeah. Like all my family have fallen out now, and there was a massive fight. And I almost got pushed out like an eight-story high window, and I actually would have been dead. I just want to make a statement here, by the way. Um, if I ever die, do not. Put my skeleton no in a graveyard. Scary. I also do agree with not that. do that. Scary. Please scary. burn me. Yeah. Throw me into a lake. Yeah. Throw me literally mm. anywhere. Just do not put my skeleton into a graveyard because no, I'm stuck scary. there. If you die now, I'm gonna get your ashes roll up in a zoo and smoke that shit. Hey. <laughs> That's how I know you, my yeah. friend. <laughs> This one's interesting. If you have to finance something, you can't afford it. I agree. No, because people that are super rich still finance stuff because it helps their credit score. I I, I watch. I don't know what credit scores mean. I, so I watched something that who's the guy from the hype house? Michael Jackson. That Thomas Petro or whatever. He has some on finance. Yes, yeah, so true. he finances his cars um, because he had to because it meant that he could actually buy a house with it. It's oh. really weird. Yeah, it's, it's I just think weird. as long yeah, as it's not affecting you financially too much, then I think it's like everyone's situations are so dependent. But obviously, you know, sometimes if you finance a car, you can't actually buy a house, so it can work the opposite route. So just making that sure means you're broke. If you buy, a, if you finance a car and then can't buy a house from it, it means your credit card score fucked up so much that you can't buy a house. Yeah. I think, I think that with that opinion, it's not, it shouldn't be an unpopular opinion. It should mm. just be an opinion that people have. And if it's an un unpopular opinion because people get offended by it, you're broke if you're offended by it, and you're mm. financing something you can't afford. I agree. I think just be smart with what you're financing. And obviously, not everyone can afford to buy a house outright. So. And if you don't have money. Work. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, a joke. Uber, Deliveroo, and any other food delivery app don't deserve tips. Oh my oh, god! 100%, yes, a hundred percent. Yeah, because I. Well, just, they don't deserve tips. They don't deserve tips. Yeah. Cause, why? Go. Oh, it's a fucking video. What do you mean why? It's an unpopular opinion. But why do why do people not deserve to tip? No idea. Wait, but you guys are saying yes, they should. Because they no, they, should they, they, they do. We should tip. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, I thought you guys. Were no, like we should no, tip. No, no, but I guess like, get rid of but that. I guess the argument is when you go to work, would you get a tip? Like for Joan, why, um, why, why in the line of delivering food do you get tips? Because sometimes you don't know the conditions that they're traveling in. Yeah. And it's customer service. Yeah. Like if you find my house and deliver my food with, oh my god. Uh -uh. I believe in firing them motherfuckers on the spot though. If you deliver my food. <laughs> And my dad, if yeah, you deliver you my Starbucks on my Diet Coke and it is spilled all over the bag and my nuggets oh. are fucking soggy and everything is destroyed and you give it to me, look me in my eyes and give me the bag and then walk off with it dripping down the bottom. Yeah. Do they not ever you say to you? So, so no, do they not ever say to you like, oh, um, by the way, you might want to get a refund on this? Yeah. Uh -oh. So Millie's point, me. Millie's point is that if you make a mistake, you get fired on the spot if you're in the delivery. No, death. Oh, duh. <laughs> oh, just okay. Uh, no, it's the most frustrating thing in the world. But no, I do tip like a lot for that. By the way, um, oh, I never tip. Five, six, seven. Oh, ignored them. Drove up with my key. James, how oh my god, oh my god. god. How is that my fault? Oh, for frig's sake. How is that my Ew. fault? Oh. My whole cola just spilled all oh of my, my chicken nuggets. Oh my god, it's nugget. cola. Oh, cola. He's so edgy. Why did you do that, Chamber? I didn't fucking do that. You did. I did. Replay. Replay it. Oh. Ignored them. Drove up with my key. James! <laughs> TikTokers with over a million followers deserve to have an ego. Well, I don't it's have cringe that. either way. Not yeah, nice. I don't have a million followers. I don't think anyone deserves to have wait, an ego. Wait, was that serious? Are you taking the piss? It's an unpopular opinion. Oh my god, no, they shouldn't have an ego. Why though? Because I think, oh, I don't wanna... <laughs> I just think that sometimes... What the fuck is salty cream deluxe? What the fuck is the oh, sauce? 
Huh? Yeah, Millie likes what it. is that shit? That's for the that's for the Where is the barbecue sauce? I, just dip it in the coat. I think that I think I that, that sometimes just because of a follow account doesn't mean that you should have an ego and I and I think it's extremely cringe. And I think especially <laughs> TikTokers I don't think YouTubers have it like nearly as much other than but like other than that, I think TikTokers are the worst with egos because I think it happens so quick mm -hmm. and they've looked up to like YouTubers for so long that they equate YouTube mills to TikTok mill and I think it's completely different. Yeah, fair. Because if you have a mill on YouTube, your audience knows you fully, but if you have a mill on TikTok, absolutely not. Um, that it could just be like pure luck. You've gone viral a few times and just gained a bunch of followers. Yeah, I don't think egos. I mean, that everyone in this industry has an ego. It just yes. depends who's who has a bad one. And I could never have an ego because when I hit whatever 400k, they would all have fucking a mil anyway. So I could never ever have an ego, even if I wanted to. I get it, but I ain't got a mil yet. I think especially in that situation, if you have followers or you've been in the industry for a while and you meet someone that has an ego, um, I haven't actually met that many. To be fair, I've seen them from a distance actually, but. Um, it's just so cringe. Would it's you like, say yeah, that you guys have egos? Um, not a bad word, though. But right? I, I see, I, I don't think they have, you have, have, you have egos in a way of like, sense. you I go know. around being like, I've got followers. It's like you have egos in the sense of like, you've been in this industry so long that you guys know that you're I think like, I worthy to be in it. I think I would like, self-respect. Actually, I got no self-respect. Yes, but not ego. But like, I feel like saying that makes it seem like worse. But like, I don't know. I see egos when you go to an event and you don't speak to people with less followers or less oh. views than you because you find it cringe or like, not because you find it cringe, but because you think that they're not worth your time. You're actually a disgusting human being to do that. Because okay, agreed, that's yeah. just so sad. Like, that is so sad and pathetic. And you have a very short lifespan on your career. So good luck. Because like people see through that and your yeah. audience is going to see through it very quick. And it always happens. Yeah. Karma. But also being around with, being around you guys, I think is, hum is humbling. Aww. Yeah. That's quite sweet. Aww. But I, I think have, I have more followers than Karma though. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I don't really get humble. Who's everyone's uh, least favorite TikToker? I'll go first. Wait, who is mine? Don't look at me. Oh, come on. You know who I hate. Who do I hate that comes to mind? Oh, I know who, who? I hate, but I can't, I'm not saying. Uh, say I'll blow it. You know who it is. Who? But I, no. Just say it, I'm going to believe no. it. No. I promise. No, I'm not going to say because I can just tell you off the camera and just hey, have more trust. Right? No. Who? We literally talk, we're literally pitching in the car on the way here. <laughs> no. Who's wait? Who's that? Wait, why does his we're, name sound familiar? We're not speaking about him. <laughs> it's down, James. Yeah. If you are over the age of twenty-four, you don't deserve birthday presents. I agree. Uh, I think over the age of twenty-one, it's it's done. It just depends, though. Like you can get a meaningful present, but at the end of the day, I'm not very meaningful. And if I'm meaningful, that means I've got a lot of love for you. But I just I'm not very oh. good at presents. I I hate giving gifts. Yeah, I, literally I hate, hate giving I gifts. I love but giving then, gifts. But then I get annoyed when no one gives me shit for my birthday. Like, I think my love language is giving gifts. No, but <laughs> no, I, I really want to receive gifts, but I just, I hate giving them. I cannot mm. do it. Is this from like a, like a TikTok live or what? Receiving like gifts? gifts. Like on TikTok. Or are you talking about real presents? No. Like rainbow puke. Do you get it? Guys, send that universe. No, send that universe no, right now. Let's no. do it. Let's <laughs> do it. Elf bars are better than smoking. No. I that think is awful. I genuinely yeah, think I smoking cigarettes is better than smoking an elf bar. I don't smoke either, but I'm just I kind of agree with that. Oh, I think that really? elf bars and like, it's just like dirty. Cigarettes are actually kind of cooler. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know how people do do it for the aesthetic and like the elf bars was an aesthetic, but like now it's like, yes. you smoke cigarettes with elf bars <clears throat> being such a trend and you know they exist, but you still, and you know what cigarettes do to you. Cause like people think elf bars are healthy when they're not. And you are still smoking cigarettes with chairs. Fair enough. Like you smoke in those flavored grape bars. Can we just stick to church? Don't do either though. I actually wouldn't like like I recommend either at all. Yeah. They're both so bad. Like you can tell how much they mess up your health. I don't smoke. But I remember one time I smoked quite a bit on this one holiday that, that I went on just because I was feeling spontaneous, I guess. I woke up the next day and I sounded like a genuine man and my lungs felt like they were gonna collapse and my like I felt like I had the flu. I was coughing so much and I was like, damn, these are so bad. I vaped for years. Oh, Oh, he yeah. did. He did. It he was a major addiction. And I think being around someone that had such an addiction has genuinely me put me off. No offense, but carry on. No, but Jimbo, the thing is with Jimbo and his vape addiction, he vaped tanks. Like yes. those ugly ass and, and tanks that people would blow O's. And, like and, if he didn't, and if he didn't have his vape, the whole day would like, stop. Like it was like, we were away on holiday. He didn't have his vape. That's it. Like we had to like <laughs> travel miles guys, to get his let's vape. Let's let him speak. Everyone that vapes will know the addiction. No, I understand it, but I, 
also but, think that... But I, so I originally smoked and I started vaping to stop smoking. Yes. And then I stopped smoking and I traded the addiction. And then, yeah, vaping was so bad and I kept fucking getting ill. Yes. So if anyone's watching this that vapes and you keep getting ill and you keep getting, like, colds and things and you're like, what is it? Is there something there? Like, genuinely stop vaping because after you stop vaping, it goes. I was laying in bed and I was like, ill as far. This is going to be my last path and I did it and I never did it since. I've never been more proud. Oh, Can I pay you, you to, like, smoke a cigarette right now? Really? I, I just need to see it. Me, that's I, horrible. I need to if, see oh, it. Oh, this is what I always I'm say. next to you from smoking a cigarette. <laughs> Casting couch. Me in a room alone with two, with two girls. It's just like getting a mop too much. Like, he's constantly making sexual jokes. And it's like, we're both in relationships. Mm-hmm. Alex. Oh, who are you with? I can't say She's got a couple, let me tell you. Millie, who the hell are you with? She's um, got a couple. I have a few. Go on, then. Um, okay, so the first one is... Ben Morris. <laughs> oh. Uh, actually, he's taken. By like what? A girl. Rams with Glossy. I'm not involved. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Oop. Maybe. Just maybe. Hey, the saucy cream deluxe just flat fell on the floor. Oh, this place is a mess. You know, I was sitting in bed the other day and I could though. hear you eating your pasta, like, in your mouth. <laughs> oh, you such a loud eater. Just... I can hear it and like, I was like, boy, there's no way. that trap. That, that one, that one eaten. <laughs> he was eating someone else. <laughs> <laughs> hey, really get <laughs> Yes. I want you to show up on body. Baddy, yaddy, yaddy. I was trying to spice this video up a bit. Oh, she <laughs> bent over. <laughs> she she I was actually gonna take this excuse to babe. <laughs> she, likes, she likes oral. After that convo, when we get uncomfortable when we make jokes about them, like how they've had sex in the bars. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if that ever came out that you two have actually fucked, I just would never hang out with you guys again. <laughs> I'm just Why you know. No, I'm just. If, Eloise would be so if jealous. Ever, if ever you guys came into me like, by the way, when we were like 16, 17, whatever the age difference is between you, and we fucked, I would not be able to be around you, and I wouldn't be able to make jokes because I'm gonna be thinking that it's secret. Who would you be more on. jealous of, me or Carmi? I just feel like all the way downstairs. What could you hear us saying? Okay, who's over the next one? There is more than two genders. I'm, I'm, I'm really here. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's serious. I, I think there's more than more genders because if someone genuinely thinks they're a different gender to a man or a female, I agree. Because at the, at the end of the day, human speech is important. Well, what is a gender? Like, exactly. Kami deserved better in his relationship. Wait, wait, who the hell put that there? Not yourself. In his own notes, Not that himself being like, I have to get this online. Wait, that was not me. Kami deserved better in his relationship. Are we not discussing? No. Oh. People, we already know the answer. People who drive fast are cringe. I agree. Yes. It's so Okay, this, get a grip. this annoys me so much, right? So mm. I drive everywhere. I'm like the safest driver ever. Genuinely, I am the safest yeah. driver. People that drive fast and like swerve in and out of cars, like what is the point? Like genuinely, what is the point? I couldn't give a shit if you're like doing it yourself, like ar around areas. Why are you doing it around people that like, you're actually gonna fucking kill? It's like drink. It's like drink driving. People drink drive. I couldn't give a shit if you're drink driving for yourself. Like that's fine. Like if you want to kill yourself and go out and drink drive, fine. But why do you put other people's lives in danger? Like it actually yeah. pisses me off. Also, I've had something that <clears throat> when people speed, it gives them a bigger dick. So do you not think that's the reason? Oh, well, is that why you've had about 400 speeding tickets? That's true, no, but I, I don't actually speed like a cringe speed. I speed because I'm bored. Can you shut up and put oh your shit Oh my god! I'm literally so popular. Um, yeah, I just, I speed because I'm, it's not because like, <clears throat> I speed not because I, I have like to rush anywhere because I'm not really a rush kind of guy. Oh my god, I was in the car the other day and something happened and I was genuinely angry, like so so angry. I don't know what it was. I think I might have got a parking ticket, but it was that's not usually enough to make Mill, me angry. If you, if you need the money, I can literally transfer you. He is fucking. Okay. You probably made her angry. Yeah. It's probably you. Millie never gets probably. angry at me. Roll the clips. <laughs> Montage. <laughs> if our whole day was caught on camera, we would have a twenty. At, no. An hour long montage. Oh. But yeah, um, oh yeah, no, I was there the other day and then I was like really angry and then I put my foot down on my car and I had it in sport mode and it's like really sad. Are <laughs> I mean, you your car's posh. She got a Porsche. No, it, 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 she it, got it's a Porsche. Bad, but like it's actual, um, I, like when I was younger and I get really angry, I would like actually punch walls and like punch things to like let my anger out. I was very like aggressive like that. I'm like a lot better yeah, now. Yeah, you are aggressive. Okay. So are you actually. I'm not You're, aggressive. Yes, you are. Yes, you have little hands syndrome. <laughs> 
That's actually quite horrible. <laughs> We're changing topic now. Let's get the tape measure out. <clears throat> okay. I think my boyfriend replied. Doesn't matter, Billy. Anyway, no. um, Andrew Tate is funny. No. I think he's definitely said some things where I'm like, haha, that's funny, but with his, I don't really know of him. Do I don't really watch him. him. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't really say, know much I, about him. I don't really watch him. All I know is that he's a. Miss to be honest, I have actually I've watched like a lot of Andrew Tate things. Like I religiously watch like a lot of his stuff. Um, just out of interest because I like controversial things. One of the first things I watched, I watched him do a podcast where he spoke about women. And when he speaks about women, I disagree with everything basically that he says, or like a lot of it, because he speaks as if he knows women, but it's like you're a man, you don't yeah. know how women work at the end of the day, the same way that women don't know how men work at the end of the day, fundamentally, because we are completely different. Like women are yeah. more emotional, men are more logical, like it's just completely different brain. Like how can a man think he knows a woman more than a woman is a woman? Yeah, exactly. Yes. So when he speaks about it and how the relationships go, and they're like, this is what a woman wants. It's like, no, it's not. Like, there's like 10% truth in what you say, but for the most part, like, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. But when it comes to real world stuff, and when he talks about, like, kind of like Matrix stuff and how the world's set up and things like that, I agree with 100% of everything he says. I, I feel like the question should be, do you think he deserved to be banned? Yeah, bad. I don't like his little, like, the follow, like, the boy followers. Like, the I don't cult. know much about him, but my friend told me that at school, they have, li like, the boys at school, she like worship Andrew Tate and they're like yeah but you know that's the problem that's, that's what I'm saying the way they speak about women yeah. the way that no matter what he means or what he really truly means by it or whatever it yeah. doesn't matter because the way that he is influencing these young boys to grow up and view women it's just hard it's like they're viewing them as like actual objects but then there's a lot of 13 year olds that will look up to him and then they'll also take the good things that he says like he also says a lot of good things so if like they're taking what? that on board then yeah, well just about like working and like uh -huh. get being successful and, and just things like that. People that are born into rich families, they have like no concept like that he was buying a Bugatti. It was like, it was a massive deal for him because he'd been poor and like lived in Luton and the end. Was that when he was in Dubai Mall? Actually take some good things from what he says. But yeah, I, yeah, but yeah. I, I just hate how he's done it with the wall. When he, no. Yeah. Okay, this one's a Millie. Mayonnaise belongs on bacon sandwiches. Uh, no, ketchup. Disgusting. Ketchup yeah, only ketchup. The way. Only ketchup. Mayonnaise. I like mayonnaise, but sometimes it makes me feel a little bit sick. <gasps> Remember yeah. that prawn cocktail salsa we got? What's it called? Prawny prawn? Saucy sauce. Saucy Slapped. sauce! It was ketchup Slapped. and mayonnaise in a bottle by Heinz. Slapped. Slapped. It was light pink, yeah. but oh, we had so many. Do they don't do it anymore. They do. No, they oh. do. They do. Um, <clears throat> you could have that on your bacon sandwiches. Yeah. Rough towels are better than soft towels. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Rough. 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 I, I like rough. I agree with rough. Towels. I like rough towels. Rough um, towels gets you drier quicker. Soft yeah. towels yeah. are cheap. Yeah. Rough, ta rough, rough towels do the job. Rough towels do the job. I don't like soft yeah. towels. I don't like how okay. it feels on me. Friendship groups of three never work out. I think there's always going to be two that are closer. I yeah. don't think you can equally be as like if you look at like Millie, Lewis, and Carmi. Obviously, like Carmi's the Lewis one and that gets left out. It like so oh it's God. like it, it just doesn't really work. Like work because there's. I think maybe don't get involved in a, in a friendship that you don't actually know anything about. No, I'm just saying from outside. Outside his perspective, like analyzing, just right. looking in, like that's what I would say. But what do you, what would you say, Millie? Really, right? Um, it's not true. I think that. It's not true. And if you should call Lewis and say who would he save in a burning fire. Yeah. Okay, ask him who would save in a burning fire. That would He's be also you. drunk, yeah. so he no, might tell you the truth. It. Let me ask it because you're you're gonna persuade him, my boy. Okay, we're calling Lewis. Why are you not screen recording? He's him? not gonna answer. I'll try screen recording. Yeah. If he doesn't pick up, can't he? Millie should call. Yeah. Oh. Can you hear? Can you hear me? <laughs> the answer is yeah. no, though. Yeah. Motherfucker yeah. outside. No, 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 no. <laughs> Motherfucker in. Yeah, yeah, bro saw, bro in. saw me and went, fuck. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. A girl with only guy friends is a red flag. I don't agree with that. Oh, are you saying that because of, um. No, because I think <clears throat> that Billy ha has. Her main... No one's no one said Millie. Okay, but I'm just saying yeah, you, you said Millie. Pointed uh, um, where, where, where? I think it's both it's good to have both, but I think some girls just don't click as well with girls. <coughs> Sorry. And I think that's normal and I don't think it's a red flag at all. Why is it red flag? <laughs> I think and, and you must be so insecure, let me just tell you, if you are that stress about your girlfriend hanging out with boys as long as your boyfriend's involved in it all their friends what's the problem <coughs> what are you laughing? laughing about he's looking at, yeah you're being weird g nothing 
just saying about that, it right? About if, uh, if, I agree, because like, if guys get insecure about yeah. girls having guy friends, or even getting insecure about girls doing anything in general, same with girls about guys. Yeah, I agree. You guys need to sit down and have a heart to heart and yeah. like communicate. Because if you, ha no, but I don't give a fuck what your past is if you got cheated on or whatever. But if you're yeah. insecure about it and you're getting whatever, you need to just like just trust them. Because if they're gonna cheat, they're gonna do it. They're anyway. gonna cheat. You, they, you can't honestly, control whether they do or not. And they'll do it behind your back and, or either right in front of your face. And, and if, if they cheat, they're, they're doing you a favor. If I'm a boss, I'm a boss. If they cheat, they're doing you a favor, like <laughs> you, you, you weren't meant to be with them anyway, so you move on, it's a life lesson. You actually have to take everything as a life lesson. Like it's taught you something, it's taught you real relationships, you'll know the difference. So And the truth always comes out in the end. Exactly. So right. no matter what happens, let them go and do their thing and if they cheat, you'll hear about it. Because that one if it's The wait, one that got away. If it's a girl Aww. with guy friends, that one girl that like is always <laughs> one Huh? <laughs> You went the one that got away, and the only one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I was gonna say. Lucky um, escape. Let me tell you. I think sometimes it could honestly be. A, it depends on the situation and like what their past is with the people and stuff like that, and the person. Oh, yeah. You know, it de uh, kind of depends, I guess. But um, all in all, for me, I have a lot of guy friends, and it's not even because I don't get along with girls, because I really do. It just actually so happened that when I moved to London because of YouTube, the first friend that I met was Spencer, and then I met Carmi through Spencer, and then they met more guy friends. Friends. And I met Lewis who was like also joined the group and Lewis was like one of my main friends as well And then it just like became like a whole guy friendship group that I was apparently part of What are your guys' pronouns? That slash bitch <laughs> Oh fucking hell You? He he him He he him, him. Um, He him, him. <laughs> Oh, oh, MJ in the motherfucking my movie. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought if like Michael Jackson was still here, his would be him. <laughs> don't don't cream yourself, girl. <laughs> that is what disgusting. Oh my god. I actually hey, You have not made me you speechless just, you just, a lot of times, but I'm just actually <laughs> speechless Good. after that. Ugh. You definitely think about Minnie's yeah. cream. <laughs> Millie cream. Oh, oh my, god. my god, too much. But do you? No. <laughs> no, you don't back yourself. Oh, no. you don't back yourself. No, but he's all on to me. He's all right now. I have cream. Oh. I swear. <laughs> okay, um, I, I don't think I'm gonna do I don't even think I'm gonna do it. Alright, that was the end of the video. Um, I love you guys so much. Wait, is that actually it? Yeah. Yeah. Give us one more. You've been in for 30 minutes. You can't put half of it in. Why? Like four questions, you can't put. Yeah, you need to do some more. We've spoken a lot. I guess I don't have any more. Do you have any? Um, I'm popular opinion, but yeah. I'm gonna end it here, guys. Okay. Peace, love, and weed. Bye. Oh no. Not Thanks me. for watching, guys. So fun. They're also on IG, but we only care about one person. Oh no! There. Please fucking follow my IG. Guys, that, that was so rad, bro. That was kind that of was like rare. that was kind of passive as well. No, I'm telling everyone fucking here. They have to. Oh, oh. Mel, be a girl's right, girl and help no. her, please. That's my girl. Who? You? Oh. He said that's my girl. Point at my team. When I tell you. What, I yeah. just saw it in the viewfinder! Eloise, I, I swear there's nothing. Nah, he just did that out of nowhere. Look how ready he is. Oh my god! Look how ready he is. I went for him to swap. I went, that's my girl. As a uh, swap. bit weird. Really? Ow! Oh, I didn't weird. do anything. He did that out of nowhere. He's trying to set me up. I told you yesterday, they were on that sofa hugging. I got a Polaroid picture of it. Wait to get it printed. I was actually kind I hate you both. I'm ending it here. I sued you. Ow. That was hollow. That was kind of aggressive. You should never that hit a man. Hollow. What the? <laughs> oh my fucking god! The oh my god. <laughs> Get the camera and show them. Show <laughs> them. <laughs> show them. Oh my god! If, it, if, if this doesn't go fucking viral, if this doesn't go viral, oh no! The nuggets, nuggets are on the floor. No, oh my god! Yo, chill, no, chill. Ew, you're such a dirty pig. Okay, let's like clean this shit. Uh, oh, Ew! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, no, no. Why is it happening to me? She cannot get it. I got mustard. I got salty sauce on my acrylic. Oh, shout out Mike Lewis. Love you, bro.